Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at a budget EDC folding knife, something that's good high quality but isn't going to dig too deep into your pockets. Sit tight and I'm going to take you through a little overview of the Schrade SCH501S. Alright, the Schrade SCH501S is a stainless steel 3.2 inch blade folding knife designed for EDC use. Um, steel is, I believe, 9CR 18 MOV, Chinese stainless steel. The grips are a G10. Um, this side has a stainless steel inlay. The other side just has the spring steel pocket clip. It has steel liners on the inside and as you can see it is a liner lock it also has thumb studs on both sides and a flipper see the flipper there it's easy to open you can use the thumb studs it's ambidextrous opens very easily closes one hand or you can also use the flipper all right, probably can't see this. The 501 has uh, nylon washers inside. Um, and it has a spacer here in the back made of, I believe this is stainless steel with a hardened steel glass breaker. Milled into the back of the knife through both the G10 and the steel liners is an oblong slot designed for use with a lanyard, should you choose to do so. You can see the steel pocket clip here allows the blade to ride fairly deep inside your pocket. Uh, it is a one position pocket clip, which means this is the only spot you can put it. You can't reverse it uh, for tip up or tip down as it is, it's, well, it comes in tip-down configuration, that's all you can use it for. It is also not reversible for lefties, which is too bad. I've only had this knife for a few weeks, and I typically like to test these knives out for at least a month prior to doing any kind of a review on them. I was able to, how should we say, accelerate the testing process a little bit through some of the use that I've done with this. I have done some basic bushcraft tasks, very basic, just a little bit of feathering. I have cut feed bags, I have cut paracord, I have cut baling twine, I've cut cardboard, used it as a letter opener, paper. Um, I have also done one other test with this, which I'm going to roll in here shortly, which was ridiculously abusive. I chose this knife specifically for that task to see how, number one, the edge would hold up, and number two, how the locking mechanism and overall construction of the knife was going to hold up.
as you can see, even after all that use and abuse, I'm still carrying this every day. It opens easily. Lockup is still excellent. Blade centering is a little more off-center than it was when I first received it. I think probably what has happened is I have, through some of the prying that I did with this, I probably compressed the nylon washers that come stock with this. I think in the future what I'll probably do is go to one of the knife companies, purchase a few phosphor bronze washers, figure out which ones are going to work best to center this blade up and replace the nylon with those. They cost, I don't know, maybe a dollar if that. Probably shipping them to my house will cost more than what the washers cost. And I think that'll make this an absolutely bomb proof knife. After I was done cleaning the gutters out with this, I had a considerable amount of blade play. However, lockup was still fully engaged, strong, and it never failed on me. When I took the knife apart, after running it through the, what should we call it, the gutter test, uh, I observed that there was no Loctite on the pivot screw, which of course is why it loosened up on me. So when I reassembled this after cleaning it up, I put a little drop of Loctite on there, and I am fully confident that it is going to stay at its current tightness until I remove it to replace those washers. As it stands, I have just a tiny bit of blade play side to side, no blade play up and down. Um, and I've done that simply because uh, with it tightened down with no blade play, it just feels too tight and it doesn't want to flick open like, like this. So you can still open it even with all the blade play taken out. You just pretty much have to use the thumb studs. So if blade play is something that really really bothers you and you don't care about flickability, go ahead and tighten it down to, to the desired tightness and you'll be good to go. I have a feeling that after I replace those washers, I'll be able to work some of that blade play out of it and still have the ability to, to use the flipper and flick it open without any difficulty. Folks, this knife retails on Amazon for under $20. For under 20 bucks, I don't know of a better knife that you can buy. The steel is held up well, even with the extreme abuse of smashing this repeatedly through ice and frozen debris from trees that was in the gutter. Um, there was no damage to the edge. It got dull but there was no chipping, there was no major rolling, nothing. A few minutes with the uh, Spyderco sharp maker, the croc sticks, and this thing was back to sharper than when it, when it came to me. Lockup is still solid, despite everything I've done to it. Took a little bit of tweaking, but it's a fantastic knife. For under 20 bucks, you can't beat this thing. It's bomb proof. Well. Maybe not bomb proof, but pretty darn close. You can beat the crap out of it, use it, abuse it, and if you lose it or destroy it, you know, it's, it's not gonna take too much out of your pocket. But I think this thing will last for, for quite a long time, uh, just as delivered. There's a few places that I wanna tweak. Like I said, I wanna replace the washers, which is an easy thing to do. I wanna bevel some of these edges that are a little on the sharp side little too aggressive uh, for my tastes but you know that's a few minutes work with a file and some sandpaper it's a small price to pay for a good looking solid functioning knife guys I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Schrade SCH 501S like I said it's a good high quality blade that's not going to dig too deep into your wallet uh, give it a try I think you'll really enjoy it if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. Uh, take a look at some of my other videos. And if you enjoy the channel, please hit subscribe. It really helps me out. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. See ya.
sit tight and we're going to take a look at the ugh, we come out today and take a look at a budget EDC folding knife something that's good high quality and is not going to break your budget really